curfew on all uh, information getting out. Yeah, complete. The thing is, there are some Tamil journalists in there who have to risk their life, not only their life, they probably get put through so much torture as well before they get let go, um, to send us the news. But we do get the news through Tamil news channels, but the fact is the best of the world doesn't. We all know what's happening there and it's okay. We can stay here, we can do this and still they don't care. <laughs>
when the English came, yeah, and took over, yeah. what did they, did they break all the borders down? Yeah, basically, it used to be three separate kingdoms, two Tamil kingdoms and a Sinhalese one, and they merged all three together for administration reasons, because it was easier for them to, you know, look after things, and then they just left it and went back to that state. Obviously, it's what they do across the world, they leave things in a mess and run away. <laughs> Paramesval Subramaniam is a 28-year-old uh, Tamil who started this hunger strike about seven days ago, last Tuesday. We, uh, initially, the first two days, he didn't take any water, and we became extremely concerned about his kidney function because he didn't pass any urine for more than 24 hours. Um, since then, he has had some water, and there has been some uh, improvement in his renal function in terms of the fact that he passes urine um, adequately. However, it's been five more days but he has just taken water and it has taken its toll. I mean, as you can see, he's um, severely weak. He can't stand up on his own. He needs support even to stand up. He can hardly speak. He can only put a few words together. And he's extremely concerned now about his general body health and the fact that he's going to start breaking down protein, his muscles, even his heart muscles, and it could lead to irreversible damage. Has there been any representatives from the police coming to see his condition or the government coming to see his condition? The government has not done anything whatsoever, which is very disappointing. It's like they're waiting for someone to die in front of the parliament, which is, which is a shame. However, the LAS, we must say, has done its job. They have come here and checked, checked uh, Supramaniam about every four to five hours since the hunger strike started and they're keeping an eye on it, which is, which is commendable and I think we should uh, thank them for that. And I, I, I thank them on, on Supramanian's behalf and, and the Tamil community's behalf. I think completely ignored. I mean, even now, we're all out here. What have they done? Nothing. It's not just today. It's not just this week. We've been protesting for ages. Since this recent battle fighting started, especially, every other day you have been going to a protest, you know, shouting at them to do something. And apparently they can't. There's nothing they can do. This is all out of our hands. I think that's bad. All the media covers and even, to be honest, it's a dog or a cat. It's been covered. Why is that the human value is not covered? I, I don't know. I'm not too sure. If the Tamil community or other Tamil community cross community, I don't think so. We all are normal human beings, peace loving human beings. I think we deserve to be saved. This is a big thing on behalf of the Tamils to save the Tamils. A dying nation, a peaceful nation, from a state